Oh baby. Oh baby, baby. <laughs> Hello, True Fam, and welcome to your third episode of True Talk. If you guys have any podcast-related topics that you would like to have us discuss on the show, any questions at all, email us at truetalk at truegaming.com, or go to the website True Gaming and use our social media links to contact us, or subscribe to the videos via YouTube, Twitch, iTunes, Spreaker, or SoundCloud. This week, it's myself, White Shadow, and... We're excited to welcome Caribou. Um, you know, I forgot to fix up the. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna break the fourth wall for a third episode in a row. I forgot <laughs> to fix up the guest intro bit. Um, nice. Yeah. So it's okay. We're gonna switch things up. Caribou, tell us a little bit about yourself. A little bit about yourself. Tell us how you're doing. Later. What have you been yeah, playing? I uh, haven't. Uh, it's been a long day. I yeah. Long days happen, my man. Long yeah. days happen. <laughs> so, uh, like Pim said, hi guys. I am Caribou. Um, I uh, I'm twenty. I'm twenty seven. I almost said twenty six. I'm twenty seven now. I just I just graduated to the year of twenty seven. <laughs> um, I uh. I live up in uh, Minnesota. I do uh, streaming. I do streaming on most nights on my personal channel, and then I do some nights on the Detox channel on occasions. I also own Detox Gaming, and uh, we are sponsored by True Gaming. We we were in the first round of sponsors with the uh, when True Gaming did it. I actually know operations personally in real life, so he mm-hmm. is he. That is how I learned about True. I ended up getting the sponsorship. It was in May of. Uh, it was in May of 2016. 16. Yep, 2016. It was. I remember because I, I was out at a, as out at a conference at uh, in San Jose, California, and I was talking to operations because I'd seen them put some stuff up, and uh, I was like, "Hey, you know." I you know I still have detox it's still around he's like it's still around I was like oh yeah we're we're big now and I was like are you guys gonna do anything with like a partnership sponsorship thing and he's like you know we've been talking about it let me uh let me talk to the higher up guys my partner who ends up being uh Stone and uh you know we'll get back to you and the ball just kind of started rolling from there and then they started doing sponsorships all around and all together. And then in that first official round, that's where uh, it was me, Shadow, Veloc. There was another team that I, I can't remember their name. Uh, they were like the Boston, Boston something. Game um, Masters Boston. Yep, there we go. Game Masters Boston. And then we had, uh, there were a couple others in there too. Buzzlin was in there. And then uh, it's kind of, some people went their own separate ways. And ever since then, we've... Uh, Definitely got more rounds came in. That's how we so we got our our boy Pims over here. So yeah, so that is uh on the Detox channel we have a kind of variety of games going on. We'll have your FPSs, and then we'll have some MOBAs, and then mixed in we'll have some other games. Um, I know we've had uh some racing games on there. Uh, I guess I'm not exactly sure what you want to classify Fortnite as, but we got Fortnite on there. I think Fortnite's yeah, that's on there an interesting. Right I don't think I've ever heard anybody try and classify Fortnite. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to classify it as. So it's like I a... think Epic Games can't even classify it. Like when I <laughs> talked to them about it when we were there, he was just like, "It's like a mixture of everything." Yeah. Yeah. So, that's. So yeah, that is uh, that is me. So what do you what have you been playing lately? <laughs> how, how, I guess we've um, talked a bit about how you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say play-wise lately, obviously, as of this week when Destiny dropped, I kind of everything I was playing kind of got sat down nicely, and then I picked up my PS4 controller, dusted that bad boy off, and I have uh, I've been playing playing and streaming a lot of Destiny since it came out uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Besides that, I was uh, I've been playing Dauntless. It is it's like a Monster Hunter game. If you guys are yeah. familiar with that. 
So I was uh, I've been playing some Dauntless, uh, Player Unknown. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. I kind of I I kind of burnt myself out on that. I'm kind of waiting for some more updates to come out. I'm really excited for next that week. vaulting update, the vaulting update mechanic. Yeah, so there's a few is... things coming next week where we got that fucking earmarked for later. Yep, so that is something I'm excited for. And then I've actually been playing a lot more Rocket League and Overwatch lately. So I've been hmm. climbing the ranks in Rocket League. And then um, I've been playing I've been playing some Overwatch with some friends. So those are the ones that I have been uh, getting down on lately. Right on. Shadow, how are you doing? What, uh, Not too bad, dude. What have you been playing the last two weeks? Oh, I have been... Yep, there's the dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That wasn't even I have, mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's my little ankle biter. Um, <laughs> One of them. That's White Shadow's ankle biter. I'm sorry. Before she gets angry. Um, I've been playing Destiny 2, bro. Freaking so good. You guys knew this. No, you guys know, you know what I've been playing. Yeah. No, you know. Yeah, but the people listening don't. <laughs> This is a technicality, I'm, Shadow. It's I'm like, pretty sure everybody knows what I've been playing. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. So what have you been playing, Pims? PUBG. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> lots and lots of PUBG. Um, I actually got to the point that I got myself into the top 10,000 duos this week. Um, oh, I've been, nice. Yeah, I'm working on getting that top 10,000 um, solo rank, but I haven't been able to maintain it. And then last night I was playing with... Shady Pyro, uh, my roommate Briggsy, and one of the guys from Extra Life Edmonton, um, Dog Daytona. He's a mixer streamer, and we got uh, two two dinners, which is like a, a career best for one night for me. Nice, dude. Uh, nice. Other than that, it's been Overwatch on like my Wednesdays. That's 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 been it. I'm trying to get back into Planet Coaster because I want to build a True Fam theme park. Uh, with like awesome. different That's... areas themed after each of the part of the sponsored street streamers once this uh, uh, for the ones right now and then eventually I'll add in anybody who get who joins in over the next uh, this next run that we've got going right now uh, I feel like I've played something else recently I know people want me to play dream daddy uh, I still need to do that. I might do that this weekend on the True Channel if Doc will let me. <laughs> Not so, too shabby. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I did forget one game, and I would feel bad if I didn't give these guys an honorable mention and a shout out <laughs> because it's a it's a hell of a game. Islands of Nine. I have um. I have been playing that I need to play ever some since. Of that. Yeah, I've been playing it ever since it uh, came out to the public. Uh, it is an amazing uh, FPS. It is if you're if you're a big fan of Halo, if you like the Halo series that are all, I guarantee you're gonna like Islands and I. It's it's definitely that yeah, you just got that futuristic feel yeah. of an FPS in it. It's it's a hell of a lot of fun, and they are kind of on a small hiatus right now they are getting ready to implement uh it's so far it's only been solos so they, they are bringing in the the group play now that the, the next yeah. the next time it comes up which everyone is suspecting it, some one of the weekends this month it will have a group play so islands of nine is another battle royale game on top of that so if you guys like yep. PUBG and you like the sci-fi elements from games like destiny halo like this game, it's it's a lot of fun to play, even in the the very very early state it is, um, and it it's like I think the matches are like twenty minutes, like it, it's, yeah, it's it's like um, going from playing League of Legends to go in and playing Overwatch, where you go from these hour long games down to these really manageable. Like you want to play something for twenty minutes, you go hop into Islands of Nine, you play like two minutes of they've got a gun game for the lobby. And then you've got, I don't know, 15 minutes of gameplay normally for a full match. It's yeah, really good and then, pacing. And if you know if you get a bad drop boy way, you might get wiped out. You you hit play. You, you it takes you back to the you know the main screen. You hit play. 
within seconds. I'm talking under five seconds. You're already mm-hmm. back in the lobby. It's populating quick. You're and there's no like waiting around. You're not just you're not just like well, you know this kind of sucks. Kind of kind of like a PUBG thing where yeah, where you're everybody's running got the around guns. for a minute. You're like you know what the hell am I doing? You're playing yeah. gun game. You're you're messing around. You're having fun. You're getting kills. You're you know you're you're playing a gun game if you know what yeah. that is kind of like you're actually CSK practicing like the that. game yeah yep. hmm. yeah yeah you're practicing the game and you have to get good at the weapons that's that's mm-hmm. that's why i bring up the gun game is it's it's a really really nice mechanic um, yeah yeah it's theoretically like oh, what a lot of people want in like a PUBG is it's like a practice shooting range theoretically. yeah yeah it's a practice so. shooting range with live targets yeah it's it's good yeah. Um, so, Caribou, do you have anything specific you wanted to talk about that's not kind of me- meshed in with the uh, the kind of hardware, gaming, movies, and music that we normally I, talk about? I uh, don't think so. I mean, if I can think of something super awesome, I'll definitely bring yeah. it up. We, yeah. I guess, if we wanted, we could we could touch on the uh, hurricane that's about to roll into uh, Florida. Yeah, the one yeah. that uh, we're sitting here while while you were finishing up your game, Shadow and I, I are sitting there, and I'm like, I'm so glad that uh, that North Carolina is not going to get hit. And he's like, We just got put into an, a state of emergency, and I'm yep. like, Oh, I heard you guys are all in in the clear. It's yeah. No, it changed again. It's coming like once after it's done with Florida, it's coming to chew on us for a couple hours. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been kind of uh, hanging out and like the kind of the live there they have going on on Reddit right now. And it is barreling into Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is the latest thing. Sounds like uh, it is 100% going to engulf the Keys of Florida. Every key in the Keys of Florida is going to get hit. And yep. they're saying, if you can, please get out now because it, the chance for survival is dwindling by the second. Yeah. I had a viewer. I had a viewer today who lived in Florida or lives in Florida, and he said he couldn't even make it out of the state because there's not enough gas. Yeah, I had uh, a buddy of mine left this morning. Like, yep. He was gone before the sun was up. And yeah. Yeah, it, he just got where he was going a couple hours ago kind of thing, and yeah. Now, if, if right you now, didn't get out early, there's there's a lot of people stuck there. And right now, the hurricane is 400 miles wide. Uh, yeah. It's the largest hurricane ever recorded. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And it if you dwarfs, wanna dwarfs Katrina. Yep. And if you wanna if you if you're like comparing it in like the wind speed, it is tied for the site. So Allen Hurricane Allen back in the in nineteen eighty was at one ninety. Irma is at one eighty five for the wind speeds. So Holy shit. Yeah, it's it's unprecedented. Talking about all this, um, we recently did, or I think it's still ongoing. I think Green extended the uh, the vet. It's extended until the end of the month. Yes, yeah. uh, the twenty the twenty ninth. So I want to say that because raising... you know the, we had Harvey and then you know Irma came out of nowhere. So yeah, the, the extension was happening. So we could we could try to help them both. Yeah, yeah. So we've been raising money over at uh, Twitch TV slash True Gaming LLC. Uh, yep. Any donation there until the end of the month goes towards hurricane relief efforts. Um, helping hand specifically. Helping hand specifically. Yep. Yeah. So if you guys want to go contribute some money, head over. Go go find Helping Hands website. I'll get a, a link in the description wherever we post this. Go make a donation. Every dollar counts. I over the week we we did a marathon and over the weekend we had a few donations that were you know five bucks and five bucks is a big deal five bucks is huge dudes like it's like a case of water I was about to say five bucks is buying at least a case of water which at this point is gold oh yeah yeah because I think there's been stores have had limits on what you can buy in North Carolina for a couple days now right yep yeah yep um so not even like. Not even getting the the brunt of the storm, from what I understand, and it's still bad. So take it from somebody that's been in multiple hurricanes, two being a two being category fives. Every every dime helps. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. I, I wonder if, if Carolinans ever regret the name of their hockey team. I didn't even know we had a hockey team. 
Really? You don't know about the yeah. Carolina Hurricanes? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, yes, I know I made that joke. I, I, yeah, I know. You made I, it yesterday, I, and I was like, "Yeah, we have a hur- <laughs> first thing I thought." I was like, <laughs> "You didn't have a hockey team." <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bring a little levity back into this because this is a very, very serious topic. Like, it's very rare for for all three of us to be the, this serious about something. So, trying to bring a little levity into it, trying to keep things positive. Because, like Shadow said, he's been through multiple. People down on the coast, it sucks, but they know how to get through them. Oh, yeah. Every every helping hand does count, though. If there's any state that's going to get hit by a hurricane and that knows how to get through them, it's Florida. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like, even though they're at sea level, they are so well equipped to make it through it. So... Also, uh... So complete change of pace. Shout out to shout out uh, shout out to Step. He just dinged me in the Discord here and said, "Just finished my first podcast. He thinks it's pretty good." Nice. Yeah. Had yeah. a boy. Had a boy. Awesome. <sighs> so so let's talk about hardware. Let's yeah yeah let's, let's go ahead uh, and get this out of the way. <laughs> Shadow's got more ranting. <laughs> Are you guys surprised? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, so been doing a lot of. This is probably gonna be like the last week that we talk about AMD, unless unless something else happens. Unless in the next something two else weeks. happens. So Vega has been confirmed. If you undervolt it, but you increase the overclock on the core and the um, memory, it actually performs better than just jamming a lot of power into the board and hoping that it's just gonna do amazing things. So if you undervolt it to where, like, say a 1070 are, or a 1080... Are we sure we want to talk to? about this with all with the potential of miners sitting here going, hmm, I should buy a Vega. <laughs> hey, dude. I mean, if you can find a Vega, yeah, yeah. go ahead and yeah. buy it. But they're all sold out. Yeah. Um, but Vega 56 specifically, they did the test on it. They undervolted it and overclocked the core and um, the memory. And it was hitting Vega 64, like, Founder's Edition levels like it was beating the 1080 the 56 was damn so yeah because the 56 has kind of performed around the the like just below somewhere in between the 1070 and 1080 right oh yeah and in some games just below and then all of a sudden they did this undervolt thing and it like beat the 1080 in every test so this like now they're looking at the um 64 and they're like okay if we undervolt 64 is it going to hit 1080 ti levels so they're still testing that right now so we talked a while back um this was i think this was just in dms about uh the the fact that the the voltages are so high and you made the comment that they're probably listing it higher to deter um the minor sales like people who are looking to use minimum voltage for maximum power (laughs) Do you, yeah. do you think that this is like kind of confirmation for that, or do you think this is kind of a, a separate thing where it's it's an Honestly, unintended thing? Looking at it, I think so. Yeah. But all, also, if you look back at like okay, so if you look at like the RX series, so the RX four eighty and five eighty, you can do the same thing to those cards, and they get better performance. Okay, so this might just be an AMD quirk, basically. Yep. I think it's just an AMD quirk. Yeah. Interesting. That's kind of. I think it's I think it's really cool, and also you can do um, something cool with Vega fifty six right now. You can flash the sixty fours BIOS onto the um fifty six and gain better performance out of that, and then do the undervolt. You're hitting like above ten eighty levels. You're hitting in between ten eighty Ti and um ten eighty levels of performance out of a graphics card that costs three ninety nine. That's kind of ridiculous. That's kind yeah. of really ridiculous. And I'm pretty excited to see what the um, add-in board partners do, like Asus and Gigabyte and all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but enough about AMD. Let's talk about Intel. Yeah. we. Talk about- um, so last time we talked a little tiny bit about Coffee Lake because we had initial pricing came out like a day before we've recorded the podcast and now we've got a lot more information so 
naturally a follow up follow up is due. And we've been talking a little bit with about this with Caribou before the stream or before the podcast started. Can you tell I'm used to streaming and not podcasting? <laughs> it happens, man. It yeah. happens. <laughs> so, coffee so, lake. After further research and after my rant that I said last week, I'm still pissed at Intel, but not the product that they make. Um Coffee Lake might actually be really good. So we're looking at an 11% gain over the 7700K in single core performance. But in, if you go multi threaded performance, since it's a six core, 12 threaded processor, we're looking at like 55 to 60% gains in performance. Only concerning thing being is the price. So we're probably looking at like 400 to 450 depending on how Intel launches this, if they launch it at the same price the 7700K is, they'll take back some market share. Yeah, because the initial thing we had seen was the um, the Coffee Lakes were just... The unlocked ver- or the regular version was just under the previous gen's unlocked version for pricing, yeah. which wasn't a huge price jump. Nope. So if, if we see that kind of, of pricing, I think we, we've got something here. I think we've got an, a good response from Intel. But right now, you guys were saying that the... the Because 450 is what a 7700K costs in Canadian. Like if, if, I were yeah. to, if I were to go out to the west end of town, go out to my, my local hardware shop and just go buy one, it's 450 Canadian. See, that's the price of a 7700K in like a decent motherboard. Yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> remains to be seen. Oh, and the launch date is um, leaked online. It's October 5th. Okay, so it is. So it, that's when it hits the market. Okay, because we had heard September, which was... Yeah, we yeah. hadn't heard September. I think they pushed it back a little bit to try to keep it away so much from the uh, X299. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, because Intel is receiving a lot of backlash about that, but still, October fifth is too soon to me. Yeah, I I feel like this needs to be a Q one next year. But if you look at how well Destiny two and a bunch of PC games are doing, I think Intel is trying to get in on some of that market. Oh, hey, I need to build a new PC in order to play this game. Oh, what Coffee Lake just came out. Let's buy Coffee Lake because yeah. it's going to be a good gaming CPU. See what I see mean- what the thing is. That's yeah. that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm building, exactly. I'm gonna be built. I was building a PC no matter what, like as a good mine is creeping up on four years old, and mm-hmm. I, I wanted to upgrade my processor anyways. But you know, in order to do that, it's you know I got to do the processor, and then the motherboard, and then the RAM. And at this point, I might as well build a new PC. And I'm just gonna go with the two uh, the two PC stream dream. Yeah. But. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm going to do it right around that Thanksgiving Christmas area. So, I mean, the coffee Black Friday, lake, dude. The yep. coffee lake is going to be something that I will definitely be uh eyeing. and I mean, let's be real. I'm going to be putting it on my uh my new egg card. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be pulling that trigger. <sighs> yeah, I'm I just bought that little Ryzen box. I'm excited to use it to f- uh, edit the podcast this weekend. You know, do a bunch of bunch of work that's gonna hopefully make good use of the of the the, f- the insane amount of threads on them. But I still, I still am pretty sure I'm gonna build another Intel machine for my gaming rig, even if I, I'm str- also streaming off of it because my 4790K is still holding up really well for playing. I play PUBG. I stream at 720 by 60. I've got all kinds of shit up on my other screen, including my bot, dashboards, and stuff. I know Shadow is like gonna marry AMD, but I'm still just nah. I, I'm not. Uh, hey, dude! When yeah. I first started streaming, I had an i5 4690K that got me through like an entire year of streaming. Yeah, yeah. I still, to this day, think the 4690K and the 4790K are two of the best chips Intel's ever made. I do think that the the Coffee Lake is a good move, but oh yeah, it, it's a sure. next summer thing for me. Yeah, like I just Ryzen just came out. I just built a Ryzen PC. I, I'm I'm one of the people that runs multiple PCs. I don't run multiple for streaming, but 
you know, I, I just built a new PC. Why the fuck would I, I spend 450 bucks on a new CPU right now? Let alone motherboard. Yeah. That's going to yeah. cost you another 200 Yeah. Yeah. And this Speaking is talking of the U.S. prices. The, the, uh, building this next machine is probably going to cost me a full month's wage. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. By by the time you're going to pull that trigger on the coffee like next summer, you're going to be three gens behind at the rate they're going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is true. Speaking of motherboards, oh. Giga might need to get on their shit. <laughs> Here we go. Seriously. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I like when I saw this, no, I was reading Tweet Town and I scrolled down and I saw it and I was like, I, I started having like flashbacks. I was convulsing in my chair. Like, <sighs> Gigabyte, please. They need to get their software together, man, because um, this is exactly what happened to me. If you own an X370 motherboard on Ryzen and you update oh, to the no. F5 BIOS, it will overvolt your processor to 1.7 to 2 volts pushing through a processor you don't that'll, want that that'll be fun to watch it, yeah uh, there's literally pictures on their forums that have shown like it, a cooked processor it, it's completely cooked there's nothing they can do with it so um are they stepping up and claiming responsibility trying to help them or oh yeah no. gigabytes come out and said don't update that to f5 bios if you have it revert back and send us all of your stuff right now just to make sure you didn't damage your system fuck well, at least yeah, they're being good, because that is one thing that you you can say about your whole fin- finagle with your Intel board with them is they were pretty decent, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, they make, dude, Gigabyte still to this day makes some of the best hardware you can buy. I love Gigabyte to death. They did step up and fix my board. They sent me a new one. Yeah. Um, but it's their, on, you can't have really good hardware. And if then, you guys like, the had heard him software. two months ago when this was happening... Or three months, I guess, now-ish. Oh, I was cursing Gigabyte left he and was, right. Yeah, yeah. It was a common term to say... I remember the say, initial night. The yeah. initial night was the best <laughs> night for it all to happen. The initial just, night was like 300 messages in PC Master Race of just like shadow bitching. It was great. <laughs> I wish you should have seen me in person. <laughs> I don't... I wouldn't want to. Dude, no. Um, Doc called me and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, I'm about to throw this damn thing in a bathtub. <laughs> and crawl in after it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it was bad, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ra- Rachel was sitting behind me when it happened, and she just looked at me, and she was like, babe, are you okay? And I was like, no. no. <laughs> I am not okay. Yeah. When I'm sitting to my PC and I start ripping it apart without saying anything, you know there's something wrong. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, that's like Gigabyte needs to get this is kind of like a heed heed this warning if you own a Gigabyte board. I already said it in True Fam chat um, and PC Master Race, but if you own a Gigabyte board, just be careful. Don't update to the new BIOS either because it's beta and the issue can still happen. Um, But yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. At least they're owning up to it. Yeah, and that's good. They're not trying to. They're not trying to hide behind it. Be like, oh, this must be a you thing, man, not us. So, yeah. yeah. Oh man. The current board on my system is an Azrak, and good the, choice. And the board that I'm looking at for my new board, uh, you know, like I said, parts are probably going to change in the next three months. But I'm yet again looking at an Azrak. I I have the. Z87 in my current system, the 87 Extreme, and I really like that board. So, I've been looking at some of their boards they have right now, and I was right now I was kind of looking at the Z270 Killer. But I mean, dude, look at the Tai Chi boards; those things are beautiful. You know Which, what kind of sucks for me? 270 Tai Chi. Yeah, the Z270 Tai Chi. That's like my favorite Azrock board. That thing is so sick. You guys are talking about all these Azrock boards, and I'm probably going to be buying my stuff from a local, like from my local shop. My local shop doesn't carry Azrock. You know, Azrock is a um, product of Asus, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Was, so I'm probably going to be getting a, a Prime board. Cause Those I, are good. Yeah. Those are solid boards. Because I got a, a Prime uh, Micro ATX for my Ryzen build. And I, I know I showed safe. you, and you're like, dude, yes. Yeah. I fully recommend Asus and Azrock, like, all day long. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes MSI, MSI is one of those that you got to be like really careful of because they have problems with their USB headers. That's like the only problem I've ever seen with MSI, but a USB header on your PC is like super important. So yeah, yeah. something you got to be careful of. But yeah, man, always go Asus. Go wrong. Except for the one, I think it's Vertex and TrueFam just got bit by it. Me and him did some um, research together on that. And um, X99 had a lot of issues. Like there's a 20% failure rate on all X99 boards. Doesn't matter of brand. Oh, okay. That's, uh... yeah, that's concerning. Yeah, that's not great. (sighs) So, iPhone 8 soon oh oh yeah um iphone 8 probably going to be releasing it's either end of this month or early next month and uh, uh yeah i'm normally not an iphone fan but i saw the <laughs> i saw the i saw like the leak the early uh render of it and the entire face of that phone is going to be one solid screen and there's um the rumor is it's going to be oled made by either um sharp samsung or lg they haven't i don't there nobody knows who it's made by but dude that phone looks really good (laughs) yeah i'm i haven't so i still have just the base model six i i my upgrade came uh when the seven was out and stuff and i just my six was working fine i i had no reason to upgrade so i just decided to rock it and i was like i'll do it whenever but now that the new one's coming out I I figured you know it might finally be time to look at that upgrade and then yeah I know the the press conference or whatever for it is on Tuesday or the twelfth which I think is Tuesday is it this month yeah the it's revealed on the twelfth so in four days oh sweet okay I didn't know and that then, yep and then uh, you can do the pre orders I have a friend who manages a Verizon here in town. And he can put in the pre-orders for the phones at 2 a.m. on the 14th. So um, I'm thinking I'll be having it. I'll be having it sometime this month. I'm hoping. Mm. It just kind of kind of depends what it's going to cost me. And with the wedding coming up next month, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I should just wait a little bit for a new phone, or be like, I'm going to get this new phone and then take it to Vegas. Hope it's good. The rumors are the cameras are freaking amazing on this one. Yeah. Like, they, they're they really scared with the Note 8 coming out, so they said that they were going to pull out all the stops on this one. Yeah, because they've got the Note 8 and the OnePlus 5 that both have almost identical cameras, right? Yeah. So that they and have to do the something. The Note 8 um, has, like, the best camera on the market right now. They did a test on it. You, you can't touch it in it with any other phone. Not even the Pixel can touch it. <laughs> so... Let's hope. Yeah. Because yeah. iPhone's been falling behind. So, let's move on to some games. I know you guys have been playing PUBG. I haven't really yep. much lately, so I'm going to let you guys take the reins on this one. Um, The big thing right now is the uh, the new... So, they're adding a new r- rifle. Um, they recently added the MK14 as, I believe it's a drop-only weapon. Uh, yep. fires that 762 it, it's an sks on steroids is what it is i think it's a laser beam uh, doc had it for a squad game that i managed to get him in on a couple weeks ago and he downed like three people in three seconds it was fucking crazy um because the sks is already a two shot with pretty decent thing and this thing is like the mk14 is fully semi-automatic like no matter how fast you click this thing fires uh, they're adding uh, it's the mini 14 which is it's a really stripped down MK14 and it sounds like it's going to be just a, a general drop like at, at worst it's a, a rare drop yeah, um, they, they made it sound like it's going to be all over um, all over so it'll it'll be it's like a normal findable gun, and it's a it's a semi-automatic that's going to be running a five five six. So okay, so it it is another five five six because we've been yep 
Because there's the SCAR, the M4, and the M16 right now that run 5.56, and the the fucking M249, but whoever gets an M249, yeah. that's a drop-only weapon. Yeah. Um, whereas for, actually, for 7.62, there's there's the SKS. AKM. And the AKM, as for as normal drops. Oh, and the yeah. KR, yeah. Um, so I'm, yep. in, in, I'm in the habit of saying KAR because we tend to call vehicles out as cars. Um, yeah. Is there yeah, another then, 7.62 rifle that's not yeah, a drop? There is. Um, what's that the, newer? The Groza. The Groza, yep. right. Okay, so. That's what it is. We're currently. F- I think the Mini 14 brings us up to 4 and 4 on the the rifles for the automat or for the, the ammo types. Um, yeah. Did you name the SCAR? Yeah, yeah. So it's SCAR, M16, M4. And the M249. No, we're still down one on the 5.56 guns. Unless I'm missing one. No, there's just the three assault rifles. And then the M249. Oh, interesting. That is right. Well, I guess the Mini 14 is going to be the next one. Oh, right. Yeah, that's why we're 4 on 4. Durr, okay. Uh, Yeah, so the the Mini 14 should give us a 5.56 rival to the SKS by the the vibe of it. I just read um, it and they said it's going to be really customizable too. Which is nice. Probably full slots like everything. I wonder if they're going to put a... because the, the, the images that we've seen uh, the stock is like a piece of iron with another piece of iron on the end. I'm wondering if they're giving us the option to throw the tack stock on that when it comes That'd out. That'd be sick. What do you think on that Caribou? That that would be, that would that would be legit. It'd be, yeah. be a uh, kind of like a different mechanic, and I I think I I I really like the fact that they make the guns pretty customizable to, you know, if you want to use the uh, the vert grip, if you want to use the angle, you know, stuff like that. I like yeah. I like that while still, you know, keeping it realistic. Yeah, because I think the only um, gun generally in the game that has a limitation on the grips that has the grip slot is the the vector and it can only take a vertical because okay have fun fitting an angled foregrip on that thing like yeah um they're very very good at letting us have the customizability we've got three different um three different magazine mods we've got the two different stocks we have like eight or five or six different types of sites i think there's flash hider compensator and suppressor for the barrel mods some of the guns depending on like the m4 the vector the sniper rifles they all have different things that go on the the stock so the m4 and the vector share a stock the uzi has a stock of its own um it, it's kind of kind of crazy and I'm wondering if the Mini 14 is going to have different handling. Like, I'm wondering if it's going to be a rifle with more um, SMG-style handling. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, anyway. Yeah, so I just pulled up a quick list. So the guns that use 5.56 is the M16A4, the M416, the SCAR, the M249, this what we're going to think is the new weapon the mini 14 yeah the weapons that use 762 are the pistol which is the r1895 yeah. yeah the akm the gorza the car 98k the m24 the sks and the mk14 right so, so with- 762 ends up winning that battle even with the new one uh, even if we cut the revolver, because that revolver is fucking useless. Yeah, if we cut the revolver, then they're still up it's by still, one. Yeah. Okay, so we might see another five, five, six weapon after this as as the next one. I can't think of much more that uh, that isn't like a, an M sixteen or M four variant. I still think there should be like a, one of the Canadian rifles in there, but. The only difference on those is they've got a, a, a mitt option for the trigger grips. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a joke, but it's real. 
Um, so the other thing for PUBG is the fog map type, which is something I'm really excited for. I love the rain because people can't hear you. The fog it seems like it's going to be the other one where I'm going to be able to take my double barrel shotgun, and I am going to be able to, to like poke it between your cheeks, between you even or before you even see me, and that. I, I'm excited for that. I, I I like the different weather mods. I'm still holding out for a nighttime map, though. Here's a five five six. Sorry, going back to this. Here's a five five six weapon they should put in either the uh, Tavor X ninety five or the um, SR five. Uh, or an ACR. Oh. Actually, the Tavor would be an interesting one, unless that or the ACR. Uh, That'd be cool. Sorry, I'm having to Google these because I can't think of them off the top of my head. Tavor is uh, a bullpup um, assault rifle. Yeah. So that would be like an equivalent. I think the ACPR might be a little too close to the SCAR as far as far as like the, the profiling looks on it. Oh, the ACR? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what the, was the, um, the other one SR5. you said? SR5. It's like a 5.56... Five, um, it's kind of, I mean, it'd kind of be like an M14, but... <laughs> I Google it and it brings up fucking Toyota trucks. What? I love oh it. God. I love it. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, SR5 wouldn't be bad. That's a... Uh... It's a very, it's a marksman rifle. Yeah. Because one of the other things I'm I'm holding out for is like an MP5, a new... A I new the P90. Uh, P90 would change things for sure. P90 would be an interesting because um, it would be like somewhere between because the vector you deplete your mag almost instantly, and the ump you can fire forever. So the P90 would kind of bridge that gap, a little higher accuracy, you know, higher soft. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of options they can go with. There, there are a lot of lot of weapons out there. They um, should give us the French gun, the Famaz. Ooh, Blech. what's the? <laughs> no. Oh my God. No. 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 Dude, that thing's made of plastic. So. I've literally. So's your president. Savage. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. He can say that because he's Canadian. Yep. Um. Yep. <laughs> uh, so one of the things my guys keep w- saying they want is like a grenade launcher or an RPG. That would ruin everything. I was gonna say, ah, uh, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of you know, like we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're having to be tactical. We're peeking around stuff. We're taking a look. I feel like a grenade launcher is going to ruin it everything yeah. like yeah. now we're so, now we're full we're full call of duty boys the grenade launcher i'm a no on i'm a solid no on that um uh, unless it's something like uh, a drop only barrel attachment like something to replace your your foregrips uh so, so now we've got a noob tube yeah yeah an incredibly rare noob tube but something that people would definitely no no i take it back i wouldn't want it because people would get it and they would hold on to it until the very last circle and they would just point in a direction and pray here's Um, a gun we haven't thought about the g36 uh that might that actually wouldn't be bad that'd be a a sweet gun yeah yeah that that that'd be another 762 I'm actually surprised that's not in the game. <laughs> I'm wondering because uh, PUBG. Because, dude, I love this gun. I've actually shot one of these. The only one thing is, I think favorite. there might be, depending on what they're doing with PUBG, there might be like a lifetime limit on that where some of these guns might be too new. G36 uh, has been around forever. Yeah, has it? Yeah, it's been around for quite a while. Okay. Yeah, it was developed in early 1990s. Because I, I think, well, the thing is, uh, depending on what they're doing, this might, like, the actual game might be taking place in, like, the 1980s, 1970s, uh, kind of Cold War era. But I guess then this, 
How yeah, is we the, the scar? scar. Yeah, because the scar is like the... very new. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the Something... scar L, right? Yeah. Somebody scar mentioned L. Um, a variation, one of the other scar ven variations, like the. Uh, oh, there's the a H. scar age. There's a scar age which shoots a um, seven six two, and then yeah. there's one that shoots a. Um, it's it's like a three oh eight. There is three oh eight in the game. Yeah, I know. Or no, there's three hundred magnum in the game. Yeah, three hundred mag. Yeah. For the uh, AWM. Yeah, yeah. So another point on PUBG, and I'm not sure if you guys saw it today. PUBG broke. One million concurrent players. Yeah. Uh, speak of the devil, Damn. Khaleesi just went, just started up Player Unknowns. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yep. I saw that tweet early this morning, and I, I actually forgot about that. Thank you for bringing that one up. That's awesome. Yeah. And under six months. Yeah. And theoretically, yeah. this game is this game is still early early access early release. Mm -hmm. So yeah, an early access game just broke. One million. It's the top players. game on Steam right now. Yeah, I mean it's it's we're getting close to being double what CS:GO is. Yeah. CS:GO numbers. If you've if you've been kind of keeping track of the CS:GO numbers, they've been plummeting. Oh yeah, yeah. Because everybody's big. Well, because even Summit's gone over to PUBG, and he's got pull. The number of people that watch him it's and like play because of him per day. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's and it's Doc. Doc is going live, and within within probably half hour, he's pulling he's pulling twenty five thousand. Yeah, yeah. Doc disrespect, I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. disrespect. I Doc was. Disrespect. I don't know if he has been hasn't been playing much, but I'm I just like because on PUBG.me you can compare stats with people, and I pulled it up, and just just for giggles, I'm like, I want to see how good this dude is. For this season, he's not very high ranked. He's like in the eleven hundred for score. I was. I think he has. I, I know he has a couple accounts. Yeah, it um, might be an account thing. Then that might be what I'm seeing. Yeah. I know the past uh, few days he was out at PAX, so yeah. he wasn't playing as much, kind of a thing. But yeah. um, no. So between him, him, you got Summit. Summit, yeah. If you got, that's if you like got fifty thousand right there. If you got Lear copping on there, there's another easy thirty. Yeah, well, yeah. let's look right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty good uh, indicator uh, to like <coughs> people. Oh, please don't play! Please don't play! Thank you. Okay, so we got Shroud who has twenty-seven thousand. Summit One G has seventeen thousand, and then the next guy, next two guys, have eight thousand each. Yeah. So. And then when when Lyric's on there, he's usually pour, pulling like forty. And then there <laughs> are like. 30 pages Diz. of people playing. Yep. Yeah. Ninja's Ninja's on right now and yeah. he's he's got 3500. Oh. I mean, I keep in mind it's 10 at night. Yeah. 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 It, it's late on a Friday night and this is the numbers they're still pu pulling. I've like, seen Lyric on PUBG yeah. pull like 60,000 people. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, this it's... game is huge and this game is a ga <laughs> this game is a game changer. Um yeah, it, it it's it's awesome. It's I I, I am in love with this game, and it's it's. I feel bad because I'm supposed to be a variety streamer, but all <laughs> I want to play right now is Battlegrounds, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good, especially if you can get in, if you can get like a, a like a core group almost. Yeah, you know, maybe not yeah. always the same four, but at least two of you, you know, maybe three of you, and then you know, you fill in with a buddy, you know, and somewhat kind of on and off kind of thing. Someone can't always be on or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. really start getting down those team mechanics. You know that someone is good with this gun, and you find it, even though you want to use it, you're gonna give it to this guy because yeah. he's ace in those shots. Give give SKS please. Give SKS. I f yeah. I went on a tear in solos with the SKS. I've done it with the KAR. Apparently, I need to be like the marksman and not the brawler in the group. I I've I don't even know, dude. It's I've had some really good luck with shots and stuff lately. I've had more kills with an M16 than any other weapon. Yo, is that Nadex? <laughs> Yo, is that an Adex? Dude, I still wanted you to make that song. Uh... Uh, it might happen. It might happen. I was talking with Sav today. <laughs> um. Yeah, P 
PUBG is just like it, it's a phenomenon on, uh, in and of itself. Um, so let's take a quick break here. I'll run the um, the community update from Green Cord. Right, After that, we'll get into White Shadows Destiny review. We'll talk about some movies and we'll talk about some music. And then guess uh, what? I hate to I hate to drop this bombshell on you guys. That's that that review is not going to happen until next time. Oh really? I'm doing this because Doc wants it on this one. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. When we're back, we will talk about some movies and some music, and uh, maybe just depending on how much time we have, we might just bullshit for a bit. We'll see. We'll see what sounds happens. Good, man. good old shoot the shit. Yeah. All right, guys. Passing you over to Green. We'll catch you all in a little bit. What is up, party people? This is True Green Cord, and I'm bringing you another weekly update here on True Talk. And I'm just going to give you a little snapshot of things that are going on here at True Gaming over the next couple weeks. The biggest of which is just absolutely sponsor streamer applications, guys. They're open. They're here finally. So if you want to apply or if you want to find out more about what the heck a sponsor streamer is, all you have to do is go to truegaming.com slash sponsorship. And there's a lot of perks to it. Uh, quickly, a few of the ones you can get, you know, being on this podcast that you're listening to right now, True Talk, it's a sponsor streamer podcast. You can also get to participate in charity streams. So our big streamathons we do every once in a while. And some of you even get flown out to events, uh, which we're doing, for example, with TwitchCon this year, we're flying out some sponsor streamers. So if you want to be able to participate in things like that, then definitely go again to truegaming.com slash sponsorship to get all the info you need. Second thing that we're doing this week is Destiny 2, guys. It's here. It's huge. If you haven't heard about it, you're living under a rock because Destiny 2 is the big thing right now and we are all about it. So to go along with that, over the next two weeks, we're giving away a ton of copies of Destiny 2, guys, like a lot. So just all you have to do to answer that is go to our Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash truegamingllc. And over the next week, Doc will be giving away a ton of copies of Destiny 2 on the platform of your liking. So you just go there and you watch the stream. You'll earn points of being in the stream and you can redeem those for giveaways, a chance to win them. So check that out. And if you just want to get plugged into a great Destiny 2 community, you can always join us on Discord or uh, for PS4 or Xbox, we have clans and communities on there as well. And the last thing, guys, is actually TwitchCon. It's kind of crazy for me to think about, but TwitchCon is almost here. It's in a little bit over a month, October 20th to the 22nd, and we're going to be there. And a lot of True Game people are going to be there. So if you're planning on going, definitely let us know. We're really excited to meet you guys there, take pictures and vlogs. We have some giveaway items as well that we're bringing with us. And then we'll also be doing community events, going on that crazy like haunted ship ride. It sounds awesome. So if you want to go and meet up with some true people, just connect with us in Discord discord.gg slash true gaming and you can get in our special twitchcon chat to start networking but other than that that's really everything for the week i believe guys so i hope you enjoy the rest of the show and i will talk to you next time see you so how about that uh how about that new thor ragnarok trailer oh we're gonna we're just gonna start like that all right we are we're going right into it dude hopefully caribou caribou you're with us right again (laughs) You just yeah, watched it. Okay. okay, cool. Cool. Uh, I literally watched That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, I like that Challenger trailer. That, that's that got me hyped yet again. I, I'm quite excited for Thor Ragnarok. Dude. <sighs> so, okay. We've got I'm a bunch of new Thor. stuff in it. I'm excited for Thor Ragnarok because... The Infinity trailer drops when it drops. More trailer drops. Oh my god! You can't you see no it, but I'm doing my hype dance. Uh, you have no idea. Yeah. How excited I am for Infinity War. Oh my. Is there god. a happy? Is there a happy dance going on? A little bit. Dude, my pants are already bit. off. Whoa. Whoa. I like it. Yeah. Keep going. Don't stop. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You need to warn us first. Uh, a warning. Um. There's never a warning. Are you kidding me? You look over and they're just gone. What happened, Shadow? <laughs> I watched I watched a trailer. Um no. <laughs> Oh, that is a pen on my face. Fuck. That's the wrong end of the pen. What the heck are you doing? I so I I do this thing when I'm sitting with a pen and I like press it against the area like right under my fucking nose. <laughs> 
So now I just have like black scribbles there, so that's fun. Looks like um, he's got whiskers. So yeah, like Infinity Wars trailer comes with Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok still looking like an incredibly solid movie. Uh, it, only, only thing I'm excited about in that one is Loki, my man crush. It, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for th- fucking Hulk versus Fenrir. That's gonna be great. He's gonna rip Fenrir apart. I'm sorry. Maybe, probably, actually. It, yeah. Well, I hope the Hulk dies. Um, we got a what? good look at someone new as far as the trailers are concerned. Ooh. Fucking fire, dude. Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what character that is? I was it's definitely online. not Destroyer, because Destroyer is like kaput, kaput. People are thinking it could be um, Galactus in one of his early forms. Could be. Uh, the headgear's right. Yeah, the headdress looks like it. Yeah. That's a good point. Because in the comic book, um, Hulk did fight him. Yeah. Like yeah. one one on one. Yeah. Um, interesting. Okay. Because it, it's that either going to be, be Galactus or some uh, someone from like the Thor timeline, or not timeline. Like. I mean, when you're dealing with Thor's timeline, or you're dealing with, like pretty much all God. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so that is still insanely hype. Still very ready for that. It's there, there's n- new faces popping up everywhere. Like it, it's yeah. Um, did we check so for new close. Deadpool two trailer at all? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ant Man two got its teaser trailer, and it officially oh, has. Oh, I know. Uh, the Wasp. Yeah, Ant Man oh, and the Wasp. Ah. It's officially on IMDb. Um. And does this it's, one happen after or before Infinity War? I don't know what the timeline oh. is on this, but it's supposed to be July 6th that it comes out. I still haven't seen the original. So the original is kind of... Uh, it's a 7.3 on IMDb. It's an 81% on Rotten Tomato. Some people didn't like it. I loved it. And I can understand why. But it's like... It's... It's Ant-Man. Like... It, it's got that, that Guardians of the Galaxy kind of like humorous approach to everything. And then... Um, but it's still like sci-fi canon, like part of the Avengers timeline, which everybody's now, I think, used to the ti- the Avengers timeline not being, like, fucking Iron- the, the first Iron Man movie where it was actually kind of funny, um, where it's all serious and dark, and this was, like, a splash of humor that we haven't seen. Um, it's good, though. I really like it. I- I'm very, very, very happy with it. Uh, Peyton Reed, as a director, did really well with it. Uh, it was... I'm happy with it. I was very happy with with uh, with Ant Man. I'm looking forward to for, to number two. Uh, the Wasp character design I really like, especially like e- even the suit they showed us at uh, spoilers. Oh God, we gotta start doing this. Um, the post credit scene for the first movie they do show you the Wasp yep. um, outfit. That looked really cool at the time. It still looks really cool now. Like I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, <sighs> no last Jedi trailer. We did check for that. I'm freaking upset about it too. Yeah. I waited all day for that trailer. What we do have is Snoke's. Fuck what? What was it? Mega you Star almost Destroyer. You got mad at me yesterday for this too. Oh, I well no, because I walked us both into this. Of uh, no, so like just like this is fairly public knowledge at this point, but um, Snoke's. I think I said Mega Star Destroyer, like his equivalent of um, Vader's Executioner. The scale, like the size of it, has been revealed, and there is actually like a silhouette for it. So this thing looks like a fucking bomber, uh, like a, a Lockheed, almost. Um, 
Wait. Have you not seen the pictures of it? No. Yeah, so... Oh, no, I just saw the stats on it. Yeah, so this thing is 61 kilometers across. Um, so, so... Picture a regular Star Destroyer, right? It's very, it's very long. It, That's it, thirty-seven point nine miles. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Um, it's forty-one kilometers bigger. It, it's nearly three times the size of fucking Vader's Executioner. Like this thing Jeez. is massive. The catch is, it's a different design for the Star Destroyer. It's hmm. wide, not long. Like it looks like a bird of prey. It's it's insanely intimidating. Uh, very very cool design on it. Uh, there were a bunch of other things that just kind of got leaked due to some stuff in some new Star Wars toys. Um, but still no trailer. Still no trailer. Um, I looked online. People are saying the trailer. If you go back and look when um the Force Awakens came out. They did the first trailer in summer, and then the next trailer came out early October. Okay, so we still have like a month then. Yeah, we still have a yeah. little, little over a month. So the date was supposed to be like October fifteenth, I believe. Maybe. Yeah. They said it was going to be on a Friday. So. So. Nope. Okay, so thirteenth. So mov- moving past that, have either of you seen the Assassin's Creed movie? I fell asleep midway through it. I I did not uh, get down on I haven't got down. So, I thought about doing it, but I, I was like, uh, I don't know. And then like I started looking at reviews and no one no one was like, This is a must see movie. It's it's a movie. <laughs> it's uh it's when I get my <sighs> movie when I get my movie pass thing. I'm not gonna check it out for free. I feel bad for one of my subscribers who watched it. So the reason I watched this is we were trying to figure out a movie for it is sub Sunday. We just like low key watched a movie together. There was like four or five of us just hanging out, uh, and we watched Assassin's Creed because we couldn't really decide on anything else. And he said it's a good movie if you can forget the game. Holy shit! This movie is literally just a fucking meme. Oh my god, is it a meme? So, oh, this is kind of a spoiler, kind of a not. The inanimous portion takes part during the last the last portion of time you would ever expect. Anybody want to take some wild guesses at that? No. Yeah, I've, I have no idea. So nobody can come up with anything because nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Wait. Straight up. Straight up. The inanimous portion, the, the historical portion is taking part during the Spanish Inquisition. Oh. Holy shit. There was like oh So that's a, so that's a thing. Oh, it was a thing. And it's like So Visually, this vi- this movie, I almost said this video, this movie was amazing. Beautiful visuals. I couldn't give two shits about some of the characters fucking shoehorned into this goddamn movie. Like, oh this my god. This is a part of movie. Oh. I cared more about the fucking almost love interest that was the fucking Templar scientist who was in charge of all of the fucking experiments. I gave more shits about the fucking security guard that made the occasional quip than I did the actual assassins in the movie. Like, oh my that's god. When you know, that's when you know there's an issue. The one dude dies and I'm like, wait, was that an assassin? Is that, is he... Is he, like, supposed to be the... T- Who was he again? Like, I was, lit- I literally called him assass- uh, Anonymous Assassin Number 3. Because there's all of these guys, like, they're, they're, they're part of a fucking experiment. They've been brought in. They're legally dead and shit. I'm going to spoil this movie. I don't even fucking care. It's been out long enough. Oh, my oh. God. I'm just, like, I'm so upset. I'm so genuinely upset. 
it uh oh my god i can't get over it i actually can't get over it <laughs> so visually amazing oh. um the animus looked really cool that is one thing I can say. Having the arm instead of the just lay down in a bed. Because they did a lot of really cool stuff where it's like they were they were transitioning between the images in the animus and what was going on in the room the animus was in. So like he'd be running in fucking Spain and then they'd flash and he would be like he'd start climbing something, they'd flash back to like IRL. And he'd be like, the arm would be lifting him up as he does the motions. He'd be on, like, flat ground fighting people. And you could see him, like, it, it would it would go back to real life. But there would still be, like, phantom figures. Like like I said, like, visually very, very nice, very beautiful movie. Characters sucked. Plot sucked. Like, one of the plot devices was they literally kept live fucking grenades, things they knew exploded into smoke bombs, in a glass cabinet where they regularly had fucking these people who they're, they're, they're like, putting through the animus and fucking... Oh, it's just... Oh. Mm. I'm... I'm... Oh, I just... Yes? Why don't you tell us how you really feel? I feel like he didn't need to... What are the fucking <laughs> dumbest things? So he's in the Animus, right? He's getting ready. They're, they're like, plugging him in. The actual Animus is very, like, Matrix-esque. Like, they plug something into the back of his neck. They put the fucking Assassin's Gauntlet on him. And at one point, you see him, like, do the wrist flick, and the blades actually come out. So he's in this thing, and they have actually fucking armed him. I, and I just I uh, none of the guard like none of the things that they have Abstergo doing make any sense for Abstergo. None of the guards are armed and prepared to deal with these fucking masters of murder. They have nightsticks, and the nightsticks are inconsistent, because some are just nightsticks, and some are nights are, are fucking nightsticks with tasers on the end, and then the one dude has a nightstick that's actually a retractable fucking sword, and I'm just... I was almost in tears at the end of this fucking movie. I just... I can't. I... I pity anybody that paid to see this. Which was lots of people. Lots of people! Like, I... Cause oh... Because it actually didn't do that bad in the box office. It didn't do terribly, but I feel like a lot of nerds were very, very disappointed. Like, I just. Oh my god. <laughs> two hundred and made two hundred and forty million. Okay, that doesn't sound like that much of a, a success. That's not bad. But its but, but its budget was one twenty five. Mm hmm. Damn. And then they set the fucking good. end up for a f goddamn sequel. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm going to have a hernia. <sighs> okay, so moving on. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I can't talk about this anymore. Okay, I want you to breathe real quick and think about your playlist and how that makes you happy yeah no i'm actually really happy there's not a lot on the playlist this this last two weeks because my my uh, i actually have a point in the thing that's lots of disappointment um so i feed the playlist using my release radar and my discover weekly i do have a music channel in my personal discord that occasionally people pop stuff in there but one thing that I am, I'm kind of thankful for, and I, I kind of mentioned to Caribou because I know he's he's a little more of a music guy too. Um, last time we had some fun kind of chatting a bit about songs from everybody. But there's this new Paris album that came out the day that we recorded episode two that I completely missed until earlier this morning. And I have been listening to it on repeat all day uh, it's probably one of the my, it's up there in my my favorite albums for the year. Uh, it, it's stylistically very very true to them. You know, I actually remember songs off the album. So like winter, um, sh 
No Mercy. Uh, Nola One was good as well. Like, there's a bunch of tracks that actually stand out amongst this album that's already standing out on its own to me. And I just... Uh, it, I liked it. It felt good. I enjoyed it. Um, What's Wrong is another good one. That's kind of... A lot of this stuff is a, a little... A lot of people would probably describe it as emo and... That's whatever. Paris is an alt rock alt rock band. That you know, yeah, okay. Some of their stuff is little on the the less happy side. One of the other tracks that actually really caught my attention was this uh, was was called "Covered Covered in Roses" uh, by Mark the Beast, and this is a, another uh, kind of it's a, it's another electronic track that I. The vibe was really good on it. I, I really, really appreciated it. Um, I'm kind of still in rant mode, so have you guys? did you guys get a chance to listen to All We Know of Heaven and All We Need of Hell by Paris? I unfortunately did not. Britt was using uh, my Spotify most of the afternoon <laughs> when, I went to go, when I went to go listen to it, and I was like, yeah. all right, sounds, <laughs> okay. sounds legit. <laughs> Well, Britt, now you're listening to this. Thanks. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You did? Yep. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? thought it was pretty good, man. Yeah. Like, like the last few things that you've um, had me listen to really kind of opened my music genre up to new stuff. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Stuff. Yeah. Like, I would have probably never given these guys a listen based on, like, the first song of the t- track. And then I was like, no, no, let's keep yeah. going. Keep going. Because I listen to, like, the first 20 seconds. And if it doesn't please me, then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to listen to it. But Yeah, that's where No Mercy gets me because it, 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 like, hooked me right away. Immediately. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, oh, God. I just remember I, just... I listened to Taylor Swift today. I'll let, I'll Dude, let you fi- I'll, new song is amazing. I'll let you finish before we get into this. I just DM'd you something because Steve Aoki came out with a um Ooh. Lincoln Parks. He came out with a Lincoln Park song for Chester. Oh really? You should DM yep. that over this way. Yeah. Dark, it's called Darker Than Light Never Bleeds, Chester Forever Steve Aoki remix. Here, I'll DM it to you, Caribou. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on the playlist. I will check that out shortly. Uh, it's actually really freaking good, and prepare to go on a fuel strip. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not too surprised on that one. Okay. Yeah. I'll check that one out probably right after the podcast. Yeah. Um, definitely. And it just came out like today, so I didn't yeah. expect many people to see that. That actually didn't make it on my release radar. Interesting. No, he, they just put it on Spotify. Okay. Okay. Um, there's some new Odessa out that's pretty good. Uh, new Architects. Mm. I'm starting to change my mind on Villains, the new album from Queens of the Stone Age. Because the, the Evil Has Landed came out, and I actually found myself enjoying it. Oh my god, Kate, no, there's like new uh, Foo Fighters. Oh, yep. wait. Yeah, yeah, the new album, the new album came out... Yesterday, sh- or... No, because I I was because we were gonna buy tickets to it, uh, but it's like right next to the wedding, so it was kind of oh, hard. Yeah. But um. <laughs> When's the new album? Because I I do see like singles. Uh, there's the one I was listening to, the line. Um. There's the there's the neighborhood one. The neighborhood. It might not be on Spoofy yet. The sky is the neighborhood. Yeah. Yep, that's. Uh, I think that one was up on my list last last episode or the episode before. Just like I, it came across my radar, but I didn't really reckon or didn't realize what was going on. Did you um, listen to the Architects' new single, Doomsday? Yep. Yeah, that was on oh my, my release God. radar. Yeah. So good. That's another one that like it's it's a new feel, but it's very true to their style. Um, I'm waiting yeah. for Parkway Drive. To release some new stuff. Oh, I was literally just about to say Parkway because <laughs> they are in. I have a. I have a list. I have a playlist that we jam out to at work, and then I. I jam out to it when I'm gaming. To I just throw it on a. I throw it on a loop, and 
Parkway Parkway is on there. I was I was on stage with them when they played Warp Tour up here in the cities. So I had, jealous. I had no VIP shit. passes. I had VIP passes because I had a buddy in uh he, he's in a band and they were playing up at uh they were playing at Warp. So I was on stage with Attila. I was on stage with uh. You know the last three years Parkway Drive's gotten an award for how good they are on stage. Yep. No, they're awesome. I was standing right next to the drummer oh as he was God. uh. As he was going, I have a video of it. I have a video of it. It was so jealous. It was, dude. You know, it was a ton of fun. I love Parkway. Parkway is amazing. With Shadow and a Day to remember, I was surprised, but I, I'm I'm less surprised with you, Caribou, because it's like I already kind of get that. I, that that's really fucking cool, though. Like that that is that's awesome. Yeah, that's so Parkway cool. is yeah. Parkway is legit as shit. I'm I'm really digging. Stone Sour's new album that came out in uh, July. There I is quite a. <laughs> I don't listen to a lot of Stone Sour. I I, I would yeah. go listen to song number three. Like the, yeah. it's literally called song number three. I mean, I'm a big Slipknot guy, and I love Corey Taylor and everything he does, and the new stuff that they came out with on this album uh, for Hydrograd. That's the name of the album. It's it's good. There's a lot of good stuff on there. All right. Yeah, I got that on the playlist now. Um, so, what else was there? Something I was going to touch on. I was listening to you guys debate what the date on my tattoo is, and it is the day me and Brittany met. Okay, okay. Were we, you got it right. What were the options that we, we had? Because I feel like... It was... It was like the day we met and then like i think i think shadow might have said like our engagement date or something like yeah. that was the yeah. other option we had but no nah, that was the day that we met at a rave <laughs> at a rave nice that's cool. fantastic yeah right. we met at a rave it was uh it was it was some good stuff i mean you know typical rave activities going on and we met each other and uh Read between yeah. the lines yep yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty sick, dude. Who? Were, uh, what was the artist there at the rave? Uh, it was it was a bunch. It was a ton of some local dudes. I I can't remember. It was it was kind <laughs> of like rave a, activities. It was, it was rave activities. <laughs> um, it was kind of like a last last minute deal. They had uh they had the thing going on here in town, and it, so it wasn't anything massive. But there were there were definitely a a good amount of people there. And we went, and it uh, it got real. It got real, real quick, and uh, it was a it was a good time. Nice, dude. That's pretty. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I remember, like when I had, when we first met her or whatever. It was we. I went with a group of people. There was well, there was at least ten of us there, and one of my good buddies. He was like, we were. I was like. I was talking with Brit and stuff, and he kept trying to pull me away. I'm like, "What are you? What are you doing?" He's like, "Why are you talking to this chick?" And I was like, um, qu- "Question mark?" He's like, "Dude, she, she's like, dude, she's like forty something." And I'm like, <laughs> "Um, no, she's she's our age. She's literally the same age." She, he's like, "No, dude, there's something wrong with you. She's like forty something." And I was like, "No, all the way around. I think there's something wrong with you." <laughs> He's yeah. probably yeah. He's probably losing it. Yeah. 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 I was just like, "What are you talking about right now?" Yeah. Oh, fuck. Actually, oh, <laughs> so sorry. Back on the music thing. There's one track that kind of kind of confused me a little bit. Is this the disappointment? No. Imagine Dragons and K Flay have a song. What? Called Thunder. Oh, I love oh, yeah. Thunder. That track. It's a good track. Um I'm gonna ruin the song for you guys right here, so if you don't want to hear this, plug your ears. I was listening to it, to it today and I got um uh, instead of Thunder, I kept hearing Fun Dip. <laughs> I can't well, I listen mean, to this song anymore, but it was like it was good up until that point. I just oh I actually I messaged Shadow about this one. Um 
Ford No Mercy, I kept hearing fucking Panda say, I'm Danny Rand, while I was listening to this song, for whatever reason, I, I just... I'm Danny Rand. It just, it sounds like she's singing Danny Rand as one I of, like, the, the back Danny of things. Rand. I was like, oh, oh my god. My comment was, like, it's such a good song, and then Danny Rand, it's just like Mar- Marvel Netflix. <sighs> Sorry, Panda, that's that's how I really feel. <laughs> and then there's Taylor Swift. He <laughs> swizzle. Uh, my home girl. I, I can't with this girl right now. Cause we got we got that fucking moose turd of a song that was look what you made me do. That honestly oh, yeah. I thought it was like Fergie trying to make a song. Dude, it's actually pretty catchy though. It's Brit will catchy. Slide, she'll oh. slide by my office and start dancing. She's like, look what you made me do. I'm like, leave. Go away. <laughs> Go yeah no oh it's so we we had that moose herd and now we've got the fucking goose's egg with um uh, not or ready for this ready for this ready for this that's ready for it ready for it yeah and this is actually like there are some elements that are current Taylor Swift there's some old Taylor Swift in there like this is not fucking look what you made me do this is in no way that track uh it, it it's kind of hard to believe that they're going they're gonna be on the same album because they're they're so different i i i can't really put it into words either i don't know it, it was it was a real left hook for me i don't know it was we all know the best Taylor Swift song was the one that she did with um, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I was gonna like be like, you know, just saying. I, I was gonna talk about the other song and be like, you know, it used to be it used to be Mad Love, but now it's just Bad Blood. Mm-hmm. But then this song came out, and I'm like, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the real album. I'm. <laughs> There's a meme around the Pimmy Sphere that is hashtag Tay Tay All Day Day. Anybody who Tay-tay has me on Snapchat has, se- has seen it at least once a month. It's on my Twitter. Like, th- that actually started with some good friends. I was down visiting them in-, in Calgary, just like hanging out. And every time we got in my car, it was Taylor Swift because that's like all I have on my Google Play for my phone is Taylor Swift and now like oh she's on God. Spotify and I'm and yeah yeah so <laughs> if you guys ever hear Tay Tay all day day or I'm like playing p- fucking PUBG or something listening to Taylor Swift that's why I I am I am a fan I do like my Taylor Swift and I'm very happy that this second single is not the same as the first one <laughs> Yeah. You can always use the excuse, it helps me focus. Fuck no, it doesn't help me focus. I'm dancing and singing to that shit. <laughs> Taylor Swift tells me focus. That's what we're going to go with. Stream, <laughs> next stream title. Next stream, yeah. yeah. yeah next stream title. <laughs> oh, that'll be on the true channel. Doc's going to come in like, what the fuck are you doing to my channel, dude? Can He's you not? Like, nope. Off. Get off. Off, off, no, out. Off. You're not playing Destiny, out. and now, and now you have Taylor Swift in my channel's title. Get out! You have tainted, you have tainted this channel with Taylor Swift. And I'll be like, I haven't tainted it. I've taken it. And then you can be like, Yo, Doc, I feel like you got some bad blood. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's gonna kill me for it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I I'm probably gonna go tell him like tomorrow. Be like, hey, by the way, we didn't talk about Destiny two. And he's gonna be like, did you do this? I'm like, no. And then you're gonna be like, are you ready for it? Look what you made me do. (laughs) Oh, so many. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then you can be like, Doc, you should just get out and shake it off, dude. Shake it off. <laughs> Go to your blank space and just shake it off. I'm done. I can't. <laughs> And then he'd be like, "Hey, Pims, only in your wildest dreams." Okay, I'm I'm for real. I'm done this time. No, he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, I'm gonna kick you off the sponsor team, and I'm gonna be like, I wish you would. <laughs> We're never getting back together. <laughs> this has gone too far, Pim. This has gone so much too far. <laughs> Caribou's over there, like, what the fuck did I sign up for? <laughs> I'm all about it right now, man. I'm all about it. Oh. And just when you think we're out of the woods, you'll realize that that was another Taylor Swift joke. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I've opened a can of worms that could never have opened. Oh, yeah. Oh, my By God. By the way, I finally followed you. I finally was able to follow you on, on Spotify. On Spotify? <laughs> to yeah. like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I can actually get the playlist now. <laughs> it's, oh. a, it's a thing. Yeah. Wait, is that playlist not, playlist not public? No, it is. Okay, I, just, I was about some, to be like, uh, for awkward. whatever reason, it wouldn't let me search for you. Weird. Okay, yeah, I might weird. see if it's like hiding my account, my fucking profile or something. Yeah, because you only got two people following you. That's a fucking lie. I have fifteen. Sure and... I have fifteen. Damn it. <laughs> you have oh, three wait, no. following you. Me or white? Uh, white, white. No, that was the playlist. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we okay. got two followers on the playlist now. Fucking lit, yep. dude. Hey, now yes. that now that I've seen someone mention it in Discord, back to the movie thing. Have, are you any of you guys want to see it? I don't know, dude. I. I don't. <sighs> I'm a. I'm gonna say it now. I'm a little bitch, and I am. It's hard for me to watch some fucking horror movies. Like, it's all about that shit. I'm right in the same boat with you. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I think it looks stupid. I've always thought the concept behind it was dumb. I'm. It's gonna it's be weird me. to see how it compares to the old one. Scary it apparently, movies don't scare me. It apparently just smashed records at the box office. Did it? Did it really? It smashes opening night records. Thirteen point five million. The largest growth for any horror. R-rated film and September release ever. So and the third largest of the year behind Guardians of the Galaxy Two and Beauty and the Beast. Wow. You guys want to hear something really clever they did? The original It came out in 1990. It's 27 years later. Yep. So so the 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 shape shifting evil awakens every 27 years. Mm-hmm. And it's been 27 years. I think even the, to the on day. The dot. Yeah, yeah, to the day since the first one came out, like that—that that is fucking beautiful. That is perfect. It's good marketing. Yeah, that is beautiful marketing. You know what else? Is beautiful marketing. The opening day for Super Troopers Two. Oh, did I miss that? It's four twenty. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I don't I don't even care. Like, I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I'm. Uh, as long as I get a couple laughs out of it, it could be a failure, but I'm still gonna have a great time. That's that's beautiful, dude. That's fucking perfect. <sighs> okay. So, we don't have any questions this week. Do you guys have any closing comments? Uh, no, not really, not for myself. Yeah, um, I, uh, I don't think so. I just wanted to thank you guys for having me on. I've had a, I've had a hell of a lot of fun, and I definitely wanna, wanna get on it on the future. Oh yeah, yeah too, we're definitely, we're definitely all already reinviting people. Returning, perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So real quick, Shadow, what's your Twitch URL? Yeah, what's Twitch URL is twitchtv shadow underscore zero zero one. Caribou, your Twitch uh, URL? My, my Twitch, my personal Twitch is twitch.tv slash caribou live. And the detox channel is twitch.tv slash 
detox gaming with a zero in detox. And my URL, twitch.tv slash thepims. You guys will find links for those down in the descriptions for YouTube and I actually don't know if there's descriptions for Twitch. Green handles those two. I will make sure there are links in the speaker, iTunes, etc. for you guys to go find all of those channels if you want to come check out our personal content. With that, Shadow and I will be back in two weeks with a new guest for more True Talk. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys check out the Discord at discord.gg slash true gaming. Also a link down below for you guys. Tell all your friends. Tell your family members. Tell George down the street who for some reason has a a bunch of red balloons and actually you should probably steer clear of him um i feel like you're speaking from experience was that too specific that might have been too specific that was too specific i think george is gonna find out george is gonna tell you to come over by the sewer shit i gotta go (laughs) (laughs) make sure you guys follow like comment subscribe Depending on what platform you guys are on, for more bi-weekly True Talk podcasts, if you guys are on the YouTube channel, lots of great content there. If you're on the Twitch channel, go tell Doc that, you know, Pims is never playing Destiny 2 just because of him. And never, ever. Damn. We'll see you guys all next time. Hope you enjoy your week. Everyone, stay safe. I guess one last thing for the uh, for the Florida and the Texas viewers. Stay safe, guys. We're all thinking of you. Yep, yep. Stay safe. Final reminder for everybody who is able to help, willing to help, looking to help. Go find a charity that will let you donate clothes, donate money, donate time, whatever you can do. This is a very important time, both as American citizens, as Canadians helping out our our family and friends down in the states do what you can to help both hurricane harvey efforts irma efforts jose or is it jose or jose i think it's i think it's jose jose efforts go go do what you can to help out and we'll see you guys all on the next episode see you later guys later guys Canadians listen to some weird music. Y'all are the ones fucking making it. Get off my tits. Present them. Present them.